The input number command may not seem like much on its own, but it can be a very powerful tool when used correctly. Let's start by creating an object, it can be whatever you like. For the purposes of this video, I'll be using a chest. Now let's go ahead and add a display choice command. Give it 4 choices and make the cancel index number 4 as well. Set choice 1 as withdraw, choice 2 as deposit, choice 3 as balance and choice 4 as nothing. Under choice 1 add the input number command. Create a new variable for the command called withdraw amount and leave the number as 3. Under our input number command add a conditional and create a new variable for it called account balance. Now set it to less than our withdraw amount variable and check the add else option. You can either leave the top part of the condition blank or add a show text command saying that we cannot withdraw funds. Under the else part of our conditional, add a modify currency command and select the currency you want, set the operation to plus and change the number to our withdraw variable. Now add a change variables command and set it so our account balance variable subtracts our withdraw amount variable. If you want to show how much was withdrawn you can add a show text command, use the icon button to select what you want your currency to look like, add the letter X and then press the variable button and select our withdraw amount variable. If done correctly it should say you withdrew zero gold. Under choice 2 let's set up a deposit function. Add another input number command but this time set the variable to deposit amount. Add a conditional that checks if our currency is less than the amount we want to deposit. Check the add else option and press OK. Leave the top part of the condition blank or show a text saying we don't have enough money to make the deposit. Then under the else section use the change variables command to select our account balance variable and add our deposit amount variable to it. Then add a modify currency command and select our money, set the operation to minus and change the number to our deposit amount variable. Add a show text command that displays the amount we deposited, just like we did for choice 1, only use the deposit amount variable this time. Finally, under choice 3, if we want to check our current balance all we have to do is use a single show text command. Use the variable button and select our account balance variable. If done correctly when you select the balance option, whatever value is stored in our account balance variable will be displayed. This is just a small example of the types of functions we can use with the input number command. What innovative and creative ideas can you come up with? If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking and subscribing to the channel, or leaving a comment down below. This has been Sid from Digital Container, and I hope to see you next time.